Hey guys, this is Damien from Dame Tech back with another exciting video. In this video, we will be doing another performance test on this iPad Pro 2021 12.9 inch model. As many requested, I'll be using the game Divinity Original Sin 2 as a benchmark tool to test the power of the M1 chip. As of now, this is the only application that can actually push the M1 SoC to its limits. This iPad Pro ran Genshin Impact at a steady 60 FPS. Thus, I'm excited to see a software that can actually challenge this M1 SoC. Nevertheless, before we jump into the test and discussion of results, I want to reveal the winner of the GameSir X2 Bluetooth controller. Now, before I reveal the winner, I must also note that this is only the beginning of many more free giveaways. Therefore, please do not get discouraged and definitely stay tuned. I will announce my next giveaway very soon, which is this iPhone 11 Pro Max that is in new condition. I'll also be giving other free giveaways as well. Taking this into consideration, I use YouTube random comment picker software to determine the giveaway winner for this GameSir controller. I also added the YouTube names of those who commented on the community post. With that being said, let's begin. Congratulations to the winner. Please email me your address so I can send this controller to you promptly. Again, as I stated before, please stay tuned for my next free giveaway, which is the iPhone 11 Pro Max. With that being said, let's get back to the performance test. In this test, I'll be measuring the FPS, GPU, CPU usage, power consumption, and device temperature. Definitely check out the end of this video for these conclusive results. Thanks for watching and see you at the end of this video.
bloody collars were supposed to keep those things at bay. The cat's eyes are clouded and grey, but it stares at you with acute intensity. Its eyes clear, and it shakes its head, confused. Stay back, sorcerer, and stay silent. Our god Wogan speaks. We know you've been helping sorcerers escape, Atusa. We have proof. I'd sooner cut my tongue out than lie to you, Alexander. I know nothing of any escapees. If you can tell the god Wogan no more, your tongue is of no use. This can't be serious, Alexander. Come! You should know by now to obey your superior, Magister. Whatever she may ask. Atusa pinches the tip of her tongue with two fingers and brings her dagger to its root. Her eyes squeeze shut. Drops of blood form against the dagger's edge and quickly fall to the ground. She groans. Stop! My father, may his soul rest in peace, would be disappointed in you, Atusa. To think you would lie to his only son, your bishop, and your friend these many years. The fate of our realm hangs in the balance. If you will not help us save it, then you will help the Void destroy it. Dallas? Yes, Your Holiness. I believe we're done here. What a waste. Come will be needed elsewhere. Come on, old man. I can't wait all day.
Come on then, let's see. Hey, up. I find I need bread. I want no trouble. Bread or a brisket? Toast the same. In conclusion, as you probably might have guessed, I averaged a perfect 60 FPS during this performance test. Graphic settings are locked, but set to max as the iPad Pro 2020 model is limited to 30 frames per second, and the iPad Air 4 is even lower. One thing I want to note, that even when playing this game for a long duration, FPS still remained at a steady 60 frames per second, which is very impressive. Hence. Those of you interested in this game, you'll definitely enjoy the smooth performance on the iPad Pro 2021 variant. Now moving on to the CPU, this iPad Pro used roughly 13.8% of its CPU while running this software. It seems this game is not very CPU heavy, but more so purely relying on the GPU cores. Therefore, moving on to the GPU, this is where things start to get very interesting. This iPad Pro is using its GPU to the max. This iPad Pro basically used 100% of its GPU in order to maintain a steady 60 FPS for this game. Hence, this is currently the most demanding game for this iPad Pro as it only used 58.5% of its GPU to run Genshin Impact. Taking this into consideration, I don't think this game will be ported to other mobile devices anytime soon, especially due to the M1 chip barely handling this game. Nevertheless, this iPad Pro used 17 watts of power, which is actually not bad. Tablets on average range between 15 and 25 watts of power under an extensive workload. Therefore, 17 watts of power is closer to the lower end side of power consumption, especially in running a game like this. Which definitely explains the low battery temperature. This device averaged 31.5 Celsius in battery temps, which is fairly low for a game like this. After performing this test, this device was warm but nowhere near hot. This is also very impressive. Taking all of this into consideration, this is just another performance test that truly shows just how powerful the M1 chip is in this iPad Pro 2021 variant. Thank you all for watching, and please stay tuned for more free giveaways. If you've made it this far, you might as well subscribe and hit that notification button for more content like this. Please stay safe, 
and see you next time.